I'm here at Identity Week with Gina Rodriguez of Aware. Gina, how are you doing today? Doing well, thanks. Thanks so much for having us. No problem. Are you excited for the next two days? Yeah, it should be good. We're going to see a lot of customers, get to meet some new prospects, so excited for the two days. Very good. So tell us about your recent use cases at Aware. Well, for us, it's really all about bio biometric authentication and onboarding, right? So first, it starts with the digital onboarding, any sort of identity verification, and then the subsequent authentications after that. It can be for financial services, government, retail, um, e-commerce, really any vertical access control where you need to identify and verify that identity first and then allow a subsequent authentication. There's lots of competition in this market. Is that beneficial for innovation? You know, it, it's interesting. It's always beneficial for innovation, right? Competition just breeds everybody being their best and it pushes the boundaries of what everybody can achieve and then it pushes the boundaries of the value that you're providing to your customers and your shareholders. And so, yeah, I mean, there is a lot of competition, but it's definitely driving the innovation. And how can sectors like the travel industry be assured of their technology partners? Do, do legal certifications help with things like that? Yeah, you know, they do. The, the first thing that they should do, obviously, is look into the credentials of their technology partner, right? Uh, but it's not just about the certifications. Check customer references, see how long that provider has been in the industry. It's one thing to kind of see a certification and say, okay, you've achieved this certification. It's a completely different thing to have long-standing programs running in, in the wild, so to speak, right? Those operational programs that have been out there they've standed the test of time, they're really at scale, that's the stuff that you want to look for before you go ahead and implement anything. And is there a difference between accuracy between age verification and age estimation? Yeah, it's, it's a great question because that topic is coming up more and more and there's a big difference, yeah. So age verification is very much uh, what it sounds like. It's verifying against some sort of system of record, right? So take, for example, if uh, someone's trying to drive. They, the applicant puts forth their information, the driving, you know, in the, in the United States, it's the DMV. The DMV then looks to make sure that that applicant is of legal age to drive, confirms it against their system of record, their details, and then says, yes, you are of age, and therefore we verified your age and you're good. Age estimation, on the other hand, is very different in that it's using observations and analysis of physical characteristics and traits to kind of estimate the person's age. So on the one hand, you have is this person, say, over 21? Yes, they are because we verified their age. On the other hand, you have a very subjective estimate of based on what you're seeing, does this person look like, you know, how old do you think this person might be? So, two different things. Yeah. And how are you balancing security and convenience for your customers with your with your product? It's, it's a great question. I mean, for Aware, that's really the heart of everything that we do, right? It's, it's balancing security and user friction um, for everybody at the few and at scale. So our offerings are all about being um, configurable. And some of them are pre-configured. Uh, we're over at booth 80, uh, 286 today and tomorrow showing our different levels of offerings that we have. But really, depending on what you're looking for, you don't always need 100%, you know, the highest security level possible. There is a such thing as sufficient security in the name of allowing the user experience to be better, right? And so what we do is we partner with our customers to really find that sweet spot for them. Let's make sure we hit their business needs according to their risk tolerance and make the user experience as frictionless as possible. Because let's face it, I mean, when we as consumers, as humans, when we go through a process and there's friction, we get frustrated, we get annoyed, you know, we're just kind of like, let's go, we want to go fast. So for Aware, we really take pride in balancing that and saying, you know, you don't need such a high level of security if it means that everybody's going to be spending, you know, a ton of times in lines or in queues. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want to drop your security where you're at risk just to get people through faster. You've got to find that sweet spot where you're, you're serving both needs there. Totally understand that, really agree with that. And then finally, is the government or the solution provider responsible for setting those trust standards? I wish it was an easy answer, but it's really a partnership, right? I mean, it needs to be a partnership between the government. Everybody from the World Economic Forum to the ICAO, the, the US federal government, the European Union, you know, they've all put out frameworks and best practices and kind of ways to have that trust standard in place, but the solution providers also need to do it. And the industry associations like the IBIA and the Biometrics Institute, they also publish best practices on how we can work together to really ensure that the trust is there. Because 
let's face it, if we lose the trust of the consumer, if we lose the trust of the actual people who are using biometrics in any of the identity verification processes, then our, our solutions are no good anymore, right? So we need to maintain that trust and we need to do that through working together with the governments. And then, you know, on the security side, doing all of the best practices with encryption and, and all of those other things as well to make sure that that data stays safe. Well, Julia, it's been great learning more about AWARE today. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.